Eight News is taking action tonight. Following up on a story we first brought you back in 2017. Not guilty, sentenced to life. The story of two men acquitted by a federal jury still serving life in prison for the 1998 murder of a cop in Waverly. Eight News reporter Olivia Jaquith joining us live in the Digital Center tonight with new details. Olivia, good evening. Good evening, Eric Deanna. Well, the attorney for those two men filed a new petition for appeal just this week, calling on the Supreme Court of Virginia to overturn the life sentence or at least take a look at what evidence exists. And while he's waiting for a response, he tells me he wants to take the case even higher, planning to reach out to the president in the coming months to commute this sentence and bring those men home. Two decades into a lifetime sentence behind bars for a crime he says he didn't commit, Terrence Richardson is calling on Virginia's highest court to take another look at his case. What we're simply asking the court is this, does innocence matter? Attorney Jared Adams filed the petition for appeal on Tuesday, claiming no credible evidence exists that would allow a rational fact finder to find Mr. Richardson guilty. They've never had a day in Virginia state court to call witnesses and prove that police withheld the only identification of the true suspect from them, and they deserve that day. In fact, after an eight-day trial, a federal jury acquitted Richardson of the 1998 murder of 25-year-old Waverly police officer Alan Gibson. But facing the death penalty, he had already taken a plea deal in state court, claiming to be guilty of a murder he says he had nothing to do with. While in office, Attorney General Mark Herring documented his support for Richardson's appeal for innocence. But when current AG Jason Miaris took office, that stance was reversed. Now, Adams is calling on the Supreme Court of Virginia to take a look at Richardson's case, citing how neither Richardson nor the other defendant matched the officer's description. This silhouetted photo on the right showing who an eyewitness picked out of a lineup and Richardson on the left in contrast. There are two Virginia sons who are dying in prison. There is one Virginia son whose murder still remains open. Everyone should care. Now, Adams tells me they have to wait to see what the court decides, and they're hoping to hear back within 30 days. So you can stick with us on air and online for the latest updates on this case. But for now, live in the Digital Center, Olivia Jake with 8 News. And